We're just one day away from seeing South Korea's very own homegrown rocket Nuri blast off for a second time. That's right, but how and when will we know whether the launch has been a success or not? Well, our Kim do Yun has the details. 43 minutes. That's how long after launch it'll take before the test satellite inside rocket Nuri reaches out to the scientists on Earth. Not in South Korea, but this first communication will be with the country's research station in Antarctica called King Sejong Station. It'll roughly be 100 minutes after the launch when the test satellite sends signals to the city of Daejeon in South Korea, where the Korea Aerospace Research Institute headquarters is located. After 12 years of development, one test vehicle launch and one full launch with a dummy satellite, it will only take this much time to know whether the launch is a success. But what would qualify the launch as being a success? The 180 kilogram test satellite as well as a 1.3 ton dummy satellite successfully being put into the target orbit of 700 kilometers above Earth. Then, for the next seven days, continuous connection between the test satellite and the team on the ground. Once that stage is over, the test satellite has another objective. Inside are four small size satellites developed by university students in South Korea, which will be released into orbit each two days apart. The four universities being Seoul University, Yonsei University, Joseon University, and Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. These four will have their own roles to observe the Earth and its atmosphere. We're developing a 30 centimeter cube satellite to observe fine dust over the west coast of our peninsula. The biggest objective is to receive GPS signals in space to measure the atmosphere. University students, the nation's aerospace scientists and private companies, no matter which South Korean organizations they belong to, they all have one thing in common, to make this launch historical. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.